Okay, what I'm going to do now is just give you a tip for giving your baiting approach a bit of a different dimension. And that's using these baits here. Now, these are boiled baits, much like a standard boilie, but with a difference. They're different textures, some are hard, some are soft, all different shapes and sizes. So, I like to term these baits spod mix boilies, because they're not going to go into a throwing stick. You can probably catapult them short ranges, but they really are suited to putting out of a spod or spawn or adding to your spod mix. Now, they're really, really easy to make. All you need is one of the dedicated base mixes from Mainline. Now, I've used the Essential Cell today, but you might want to choose Cell or Hybrid or say Activate. You then need the activator to go with that, and that's the liquid. That's what contains all the attractors, the food source sweeteners, everything that's going to react in water with the dry ingredients of the base mix. And then to bind everything up together, you'll need some eggs. So the first thing you do is crack four eggs into a mixing bowl. Then give those eggs just a little whisk together to join the white and the yolk. And once you've done that, you can then add the liquid attractor, the activator. Like I say, I've used the essential cell. Now the recommended dose is 15 mil of activator per 500 grams of base mix, which is roughly what you're gonna use for a four egg mix. Or like I've done today, I've used a catfall, which is roughly 15 mil. Once I've mixed the activator in with the eggs, I then start adding the base mix itself. Just a little at a time, you don't want to weigh out everything that you think you need and slowly build up the mix. Firstly, stir in with a fork, and then as the mix starts to build and gets more of a thicker texture and you can't get the fork through it, you then need to start kneading and mixing everything together by hand. Just keep adding the mix little by little until you get to a point where you've built a paste which is no longer sticky and tacky but it is pliable and it's not too dry it's not crumbling or anything like that this is where it gets just really easy no rolling equipment is needed at all all you need to do is just pinch a piece of paste away put that piece of paste between the palms of your hands and just roll them together to form sausages. Keep going until you've made all the paste into lots of different sausages and don't worry if they're not all the sh same shape or size or length or anything like that. The more random, the better. Once you've rolled all your paste into sausages, then you need to boil some water in a saucepan. Bring that water to a vigorous boil. You really want it boiling away. You then start adding sausages, dependent on the size, I was boiling three, four sausages at a time. Don't want to put too many in that it takes the water off the boil. Once you've boiled them for two minutes, take them out and put them on a towel to let them air dry. Continue doing that until you've boiled all the sausages and just leave them dry until they get nice and sort of crisp, crunch-like on the outside. It'll probably take you a few hours. Now, all you need to do just pick a sausage up and just start breaking it into bits. And like I say, completely random. Don't worry about them being the same shape, size or anything like that, because what you're looking for is lots of different shapes, lots of different textures. So when that bait is out on the bottom, there's lots of different things for the fish to feed on, things that are completely different to a standard boilie. Keep doing that until you've done all the sausages and there you go, you've got your spod mix boilies, which have a skin on certain edges, but where you've snapped them from being cooked in, in whole sausages, they're gonna be soft and more paste-like in the middle, giving off a fantastic leakage of attraction going throughout the water column. And like I say, gives your spod mix or your baiting approach a completely different dimension really easy to do i've done them on the bank today you don't need to stink the house out at home or anything like that so i really recommend that you give this little baiting edge a go and give your baiting approach a new dimension